we're gonna take a quick look at 15 strange things that are really collectible, valuable, and just bring back that nostalgia from Stranger Things. Hey, my name is Josh and thanks for stopping by the channel in today's episode. We're going to be going through one of my favorite things to do, checking out different TV shows, movies, all that good nostalgia stuff. It could be current as well, but I love looking through to find some of those incredible things that were props in the background. So come with me as we unpack these 15 items that if you see, they're good to pick up or maybe they're just good to have on that cool collection shelf. So before we jump into the countdown, I do want to give you a couple disclaimers. Yes, spoiler alert, if you have not seen the Stranger Things Season 4, that's the one we're going to be covering today. I will not be covering the cars, the homes, things such as that. This is really about some pieces in the background, a few decorative furniture pieces, then some of the pieces that were just stationary or items that the cast were using some of these things really bring in some good money and then some are just really cool they just bring back the memory bank for me but they do have a little bit of value and they're very collectible but let's go on this journey to find some pretty unique strange things in stranger things season four I ever feel like you're losing your mind on a daily basis Hey, as you're seeing here, we're catching up with Joyce and the family that moved out to California. What's really cool is we get a whole new setup of a cool stuff in the backdrop, and there's the very first one. I don't know if you noticed it. There's so much already happening in this room, but look at what Joyce is talking on right there. Yes, that phone. Yeah, that phone. Cordless phones. Who would have known that they would be going for some decent money? Right here, the one that looks just like the one that Joyce had, $40. But some of them are going for like $50, $60. People just maybe want to decorate with those cool phones. I don't think you want me driving your car. Why? I don't have a license. Why well, don't you have a license? I'm poor. All right, you got to catch this scene real quick. It's not about what Jonathan's doing. It's about what he has right there by that window. Check that lava lamp out. It's one of the giant ones and they're valuable. That lava lamp is so cool. I actually just learned about large lava lamps here in the last few months because those made in the 70s, the large ones, 70, 80, onwards above $100. Yes, they're gonna look a little bit larger than just the standard little bottle ones. So if you see those, people are wanting to decorate with these things. Wipe your feet. On the outside, not the inside. And as they're catching up on everybody's story, we got Susie helping uh, Dustin out with some great changes. But check out this blue microphone right there on the desk. And right there, Susie has that really cool blue. It's a Turner CB radio-like microphone. $80, even if it's like not working. So yes, those cool little pieces, yes. Old electronics do really, really good. Dusty, what's going on in there? You're going to be late. Don't come in. I'm naked. Hey, let's talk about this song real quick. Because if you see this cassette tape, you're going to want to grab it. This just goes to show you how much shows like this influence what stuff starts getting collected. That Kate Bush cassette that has that song on it. Look at this recent sold. $150. Is that new? No. Pre-owned cassette. Who would have thought? So maybe you stumbled across this video because you love Stranger Things and you wanted to check out nostalgia stuff. Go dig in your cassette collection. Your mom and dad, your grandma, your parents, whoever it is. If they have that one, you're paying, you know, for some groceries there. So he's a grandpa murderer who can try invisible and lift people into the air. But there's another really cool item right here in the hallway, okay? Look at that skateboard! Right there! Right there! That skateboard! <sighs> that thing is so cool. Oh, I, like, that was one that caught my eye. That vintage Nash skateboard. Yeah, one similar to that, 
sold for about $70 recently. But yes, those old vintage skateboards, look them up by the brand. They display really well as well. I mean, if I found one, yeah, it's going to get hung on the wall or something like that because they're just super, super cool. And once again, just a little walkway prop for the show. My fingers are like arrows. My arms like iron. My feet like spears. All right, Max is heading in to talk to the guidance counselor, but she has one of the most valuable items right there. Taking those headphones off, hit stop. Check this Walkman out. The value is so crazy. A Walkman, people. I mean, it was a big feature for this season. Max had that Walkman getting through some hard times. But look, if you want to get one that's already been through hard times, broken, $250. And if it's working, above 500 bucks for just this old nostalgic piece of history that is now back. It's going to be people walking around with those headphones and that Walkman playing that Kate Bush cassette. All right, so now you meet Murray, one of the my favorite characters on the whole show. He's here at Joyce's house in California. And one of the props she has in the background, oh my goodness, we have sold a few of these, okay? So you got to look right over Kind of Joyce's shoulder right there behind her. Did you see it? Did you see it? Did you see it? Look at that peacock chair. The first storage unit I ever cleared out, I bought because it had peacock chairs. I had seen the craze about them looking on like local Facebook marketplace, stuff like that. The two that I got were busted, had a table with it, but I sold all three of those for $350. Now, if you have one complete and in good shape, you're gonna get anywhere from a quick 300 to onwards of six, $700, depending on where you live. And yes, those are like the hot ticket for all of those class and prom photos uh, in the 70s and 80s. And now, for the ones that didn't get destroyed, they are just very collectible. People love them for photo shoots, things such as that. So, hey, maybe you got one sitting around and you're sitting on a good little gold mine. Oh, I can't feel my butt. If you know the story, you know what happened right here, but this is a very quick one. It's gonna be right below me, right on the kitchen counter. You see the edge of it. Let's see if I can pause it in time. Boom, right there. Check out that mushroom canister set. I know she had the same set in season one, and here it is in season four, all the way in California. Check out the value of these. Oh man, that mushroom canister set. Yes, if you see those, pick them up. $150 all day. Uh, really almost anything kitchen with the mushroom pattern is doing pretty well, but that canister set, that's been doing good for a while. I don't know if it was because it was in the first season of Stranger Things, but it's still doing well today. So do Eskimos like still live in igloos or uh, are they like fully blown like living in the, in the suburbs now? Hey, you've reached a really good part in this video. Hope you're enjoying it so far. Be sure to subscribe if you like stuff like this. And once again, let me know. I want to hear your ideas on some great nostalgic movies or TV shows that we can go find some really cool stuff to collect, sell, or just reminisce on those good old nostalgic items. Please let me know, drop those comments down below, and keep on hanging out here at Flips Finds Fun. All right, we're back. Still in Joyce's house. She had like some of the coolest nostalgia pieces that I recognize. I've sold them before, I've seen them before. But Wicker, if you know about Wicker, it is in. Check out this lamp right here above her desk. Boom. Look at that wicker lamp. That's a nice lamp right there. If you find one, you definitely want to grab it. Bringing you another cool wicker piece. Yes, that hanging like lamp over the table lamp. My grandmother had one. She painted it blue in her kitchen. But these things right here, if you get the original color, like the natural color, $50 all day. Cool little nostalgic piece there. Is Susie here? 
Here we are in episode five, and look right behind Eddie. Eddie's one of the best characters ever. That stereo. Oh my goodness. The Panasonic Platinum Boombox. I have actually sold one before. I didn't get quite as much as they're going for nowadays. I could have held on for a little bit, but I sold mine for about 80 I think it was $85. But as you see, they're going for $150. Even the ones with the one speaker, if you see any of them, it doesn't have to just be Panasonic brand, but any of them with that chrome silver finish, they are just very sought after. Cool decor pieces. They just take everybody back to the 80s with that cool boombox feel. All right, this may be one of the weirdest ones. This is uh, Yuri, I believe his name is. He loves smuggling Jif peanut butter back to the motherland. But I found these empty jars. So imagine when you see this case and how many they have, how valuable that box alone is. This is one of the weirdest ones because individually not worth a ton. But yeah, Yuri's digging into that peanut butter and he's got a bunch of cases. If you watch the whole season, he's got cases and cases and cases. But I was just going by one case and I was like, let's say there's 20 jars in there an empty GIF jar from the 80s, they go for $15 a piece. So you're talking hundreds of dollars if he just eats the peanut butter and saves the jars. But, you know, Joyce breaks a few on the plane. <sighs> just money thrown away. Eh, most of it really was. You know, peanut butter is banned in Motherland. I buy for $1.30 here, sell for $20 there. No, you're going to see the item right here, okay? Yes, he's going to walk back in there. He's going to talk to Lucas. They're getting an update. They got in a little bit of trouble. But yeah, right there, right there. That walkie-talkie. Man, like there's so much cool stuff. I mean, we could talk about everything in the background. The radio, the blender. There's just all kinds of cool nostalgic pieces. I love what they did to decorate this show. Yeah, those walkie-talkies, uh, Realistic's the brand. Yeah, you're seeing somebody paid like $400 for a set of those. I think realistically, they're going to stick around that $150 price. I think it's so sweet that you guys are sticking together like this. Could try sticking together at a different house for a change. Even in the upside down, they had some really cool pieces, okay? They're trying to figure out how to communicate with the other side. Look around in this kitchen in the Wheeler's house, okay? This is Nancy's parents house in the upside down they've moved this piece around it's right there behind her yes it's even the upside down look at that wicker shelf we have one of those we've actually sold one of those they're they're super valuable the wicker stuff is just really really in if you haven't picked up on that already yeah that wicker shelf is so near and dear to our heart it's got a story with us we found one we ended up selling it for $225 locally. And it was the one piece that my wife said, I wish we would have kept. So when I see them in the wild, as I call it, you know, at estate sales, storage units, places like that. But then when I see it in the show, it stands out to me. I helped my neighbor a few months ago, right down the street. She said, you want this piece of junk? It was one of those shelves. So yes, you're looking at two to $300. We're currently using it in our new baby's nursery. We did like the white and wicker uh, kind of theme. And if you haven't noticed, wicker is a big theme. It's just how people are decorating with some of that cool, nostalgic wicker pieces. Uh, Dustin, your, your compass has gone from wonky to wonky with a capital. Ah. Okay, just because I love seeing all these, boom. You see that phone right there, yes. Vintage phones are highly collectible. That red one, it's got some good value too. Touchstone and rotary phones do very well. It's something that we sell quite a bit of on eBay. But a red one, yeah, a little more sought after. $40, $50 is what you're going to expect to get off of one of those really cool vintage phones. Because for all we're worth. Okay. All right, Nancy's in trouble, and the way to get out of the situation is music. <laughs> tell her, Eddie. No, you tell her, Eddie. We don't judge people by their music preference. 
But that Iron Maiden cassette he's holding in his hand, yes, people are even tagging it when they're selling it. $30 pre-owned. It literally says, Stranger Things, Eddie. So yeah, music, cassette tapes, don't even have to be featured in a show. You'd be very surprised at what some of them are bringing in. Some pretty decent money. Christy, wake up! I don't like this! Christy, wake up! Yeah. We're going to talk about the guitar, the amp, but just this is priceless in and of itself. Check out Eddie ripping Master of the Puppets. Man, this is just one of those classic scenes. Thank you so much, Eddie. You brought so much to this season. If you don't know, just go support Eddie. If nothing else, look at this guitar play. I had to end it with Eddie's incredible solo. And way to go, Eddie. He stopped running. He stood up. He fought, fought hard, but he played the mess out of that guitar. JB Rich Warlock electric guitar. You're going to get $250 to $400. It's got some good resurgence. They actually, yeah, JB Rich decided to release a Stranger Things version. So collectors, get out there and go grab them. I didn't know what to do, so I, I, I ran away. So that'll wrap it up. I hope you did find something really cool. This is something I just wanted to work on just to share with you all. I love learning about new stuff, but I also love the 80s and 90s specifically for me. So yeah, thank you so much for tuning in. Let me know what you learned, what was your favorite thing, and what we can do next. I want to keep this going. So yeah, this is just episode number one, Strange Things in Stranger Things. Thanks for tuning in. Be sure to subscribe. Give this video a like. Turn that bell on so you always know when we're bringing you some great content. We love you so much. Make the world a better place with a sail and a smile. I'm talking to all my reseller family out there. But if you're new and you like the collector stuff, hey, I love working on that as well. So I'll talk to you again real soon. Go out there and just go find some really cool stuff. I just, I, I just know somebody's going to get inspired and they're going to find that cool Walkman. But hey, I won't hold it against you. Have a good one. See you later. Bye.